study that primordial substance that the, that destroys the evil and abnormal raw material matter. Awok being a pure melanin angel and occurrence, both Awok, Heru Rock Rocks, equate to the number 418, which is the number of the great works, which is melanin. Now, this is the key. 666 in the mark of the beast means the devil on the physical realm, but 666 in the mark of the beast also means melanin. Mm. It's the devil to them. Awok and Melchizedek is called a third of solar fatic hermetic Lucifer. The devil or the God that you, the devil that you have been cursing was your God. Was your God. And you were the fallen ones of that God because that devil is in the sphere of Sirius. And his name, that Lucifer means light bringer. Their God is your devil. That's why Jesus Christ you got there. You done caught the devil under, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> your God, which means that your God is their devil. And the melanin is the stuff that can kill them because the melanin is the triple darkness of space, which is in the black hole in space. And this black substance, now they just said in New York Times that this universe is being pulled off course into black substance. <laughs> that black substance is none other than melanin and it neutralizes anything of an abnormal field. In an abnormal field. That means the black stuff in space, it holds the star clusters together in the same stuff that's in you. You thought it was this space, it's not space. Get the book Marcia Bartuski called Through a Universe Darkly. It's an astronomy book where they talk about this black substance, ancient tales of cosmic ether, which is talking about melanin. Mm. This is the key with this particular melanin. Mar Marcia Bartuski Through a Universe Darkly is the name of the book. Now, this particular chaos that they're talking about is hell. It's called the Amenta. The Amenta is the black dot. The hell that they talk about Amenta is also under the ground, which is your heaven. The Amenta that's in your head is the black dot. And when you go through the Amenta, you go into Christhood. When they go through Amenta, because they got a calcified pineal gland, they meet the devil. That's a mutant. That's your God. As it was so below, what's up there is also in you. Lucifer means light bringer. That particular devil is called Avon, Metatron, Melchizedek, God, Allah, all of that. That's the white man's devil. And he tells you that in his metaphysics. You see? And fish, the arm, the leg, the leg, the head is Allah, right? right? Then that means that you the devil. You the devil. You his devil. Which makes you God. Because become God, you can kill that devil. You understand how that goes? Everybody on it? Yeah. All right. Now let's wrap this thing up and we're going to show you some things right now. I'm going to show you some things right now on this particular part about the devil. We can wrap this thing up. Number one, for all you Christians, <laughs> it tells you that Jesus took his followers and transported them into immediate space. And before them, in the winds, behold, ships manned by fantastic beings. In the ships, they can even distinguish the dangerous, dangerous, the, the dangerous, danger, excuse me, whose functions that they have stolen. What they mean by that is they talk about they can distinguish the delta dangerous. And this is for papyrus, so they're giving things and also too. So I, I can't read y'all no. <laughs> I'm trying to get this stuff so I can say it to you all so you can understand. Now, that's in a brief papyrus that's actually talking about Jesus putting his, opening up the heavens and putting his people in this particular mothership. Now, the human being can but only be reborn again and led back into the primal material, which is the black substance, which is melanin, which everything is all about. Out of this, he comes forth, according to the astral nature, 
Before the Son of Man can be exalted, he must be humbled. That's why they say the people in, in, in Africa, the ones in our original habitat, are the most humble people. That's that melody. That's why right now you love the white man to death. You just start to hate, you hate yourself. But even though all the hell he gave you, you never turned against him while you were in the hills of North America. That lets you know that you still are a human people. Because you should have been killed him. But you could even love your enemy. But damn sure we kill each other though. You know. I'll tell you some things you need to do in a few minutes. Now, before a man can be exalted, he must be humble. Before he can ascend to heaven, he must walk three days through hell. This condition is the alchemy of blackness. Hell. Whose central darkness was laid and extends through three days and nights. Even to the total darkness for 40 days. Even Jesus remained 40 days in his resurrection on earth before he ascended into heaven. Therefore, you must go through the gates of darkness before you can attain to the paradise of white, the great white brotherhood, the crown chakra, which you gotta have melanin to have. Okay? Now, this is the key on this particular melanin. It is called the great works, which is an alchemical substance that turns base metal into gold and turns man, woman, baby, child, beast, and animal into one. What it means is this. And this is the key breakdown to Tizen of Muhammad, Super Tizen of Muhammad, number 19, which is the number of God, the one and the nine. The number 19 represents the, the Sphinx that sits in the middle of the earth, which is Allah on both horizons, which is Heru on both horizons. That particular Sphinx, the animals in the world can do such things. Some can transform themselves, some can live up under the water, some can live in the sky, some can do all kinds of things. But since you were, uh, were exalted over them, you're supposed to do everything they do and more. That's called animal activism, and the Sphinx can sit there in the middle of the earth, which is the crown and conquering line of Judah, which is the goddess segment, which is hair rule, harvest on the horizon, or which is Allah on the horizon, is broken out of the number 19 saying, when you get to your God, you can do all of that. You can disappear, you can get shot, they can't do nothing to you, all of that. Anything that you can imagine in the universe, you can do. And this is the mission of the number 19 of the Sphinx, which is called animal activism. This is the key thing to the number 19, which is Allah on the horizon, <coughs> which is which is head root on the horizon, which is the crown and conquering line of Judah, and which was in the beginning, shall be in the end, and you are those people. The great works is people who attain a spiritual level of consciousness, and it also means in the actual occult mystery, people who are born with it. The great work is melanin, the primal material. Okay? So now this is the stuff that's going on. Now, the idea of a race of lionoid people, talking about the snakes, exalted from the serious complex in some time frame in a deeper implications of resonant genes with the genes have inherited by their Syrian forebearers. They mean you inherited the genes of the people on the planet Sirius who is God who were responsible for the growth and the development of this solar system in which we live. It on Earth manifests the personal groups of racial, racial genetic codes. But for those who carry the Syrian gene, the black dot, the 10, 12 double helical structures of the DNA, which you manifest it, the melanin, the cat line and crystal gene are the strongest. That's you. That's who they're talking about. You see, Ramesses said himself, I believe myself to be born out of segment. Segment being the doggone space in the middle of the earth. And the people that are born out of that are the gods of the universe. Because there's a space on the moon, there's a space on Mars, Mars there's a space on every planet that fit directly in the same center of the earth as us. Get Richard Holden's book, Monuments on Mars. 
And this is talking about the God that was and is. And that's talking about you, the God of the universe, which is Allah, because you are the microcosm of the macrocosm. Now, white people mind saying they come from Lyra, which is the life of Lyra is a form, is a planet of Heru. And the people that are born out of the eye of Heru, he defends their soul. And the people that are born out of the eye of Heru, the eye of Red Rock, or the eye of Set, are black people because you possess that eye of Heru in your third eye complex called melody. Check? Check. Now, so they lie. But in their lying, they're trying to tell the truth. They say, what? They say, oh, we people. Okay, they said, we from Lyra. Now, hell, you ain't learned how to live on Earth. And how you gonna go out some other place to try to live <laughs> And who would want you? You can't even live on peace with nobody on Earth. Because we came a race in the country, in the world, to say that they live in peace with the white man. In the history of the world. You can't even live on the Earth with other people. And you say, you, you gonna get offended. They gonna pick you up. Take you back to Lyra. <laughs> They picking you up all right. They stripping you all for your jeans, putting your pants. Go see who fire in the sky. Oh yeah. Wasn't well, no picnic when that when that cracker got on that ship and right. seen them with white people with holes all in their body, and he cried like a baby. Mm -hmm. and that stuff on me. And they told me it was the two movie that happened in the early '70s. Mm -hmm. So ain't no picnic for them. They gonna go through hell. They said so. Um, whatever. They said we had gifts on this planet first, but the Syrians got here first. See the lions. See, whatever happened to the Syrians who, who grew, who interfered with the lions? See, they done picked the planet out there that they don't belong to, they're going to lie. <laughs> but they tell the truth. They say by interfering with the lions, they became intergenetically tied to Earth. So they're saying the Syrians are intergenetically tied to Earth, which is us. They have always had many tricks up their sleeve. <laughs> And in this case, they got the last laugh. They're saying, in this case, the Syrian people, or the people from Syria, got the last laugh. When working with the Lyra groups doing the genetic program, they inserted a latent DNA code. This code within human cells, this code is triggered by the acceleration of the vibration, of, of, of the, the acceleration of the vibration that occurs when civilization be, begins to evolve spiritually. The Earth accelerates towards a self-awareness four-dimensional density, which is perfectly occurring right now. This code intrigue is activated. What activates the human race unwinds its limited, limited division like a coil. That's the Kundalini rising up, like mm -hmm. a snake. Until all things become visible, it is their way of allowing them to eat from the tree of life in DNA strands. They're saying that this particular code that the actual Syrians put in you and it is triggered when the earth accelerates to the vibratory rate, which we know now that Sirius A and Sirius B conjuncted the day, the 60 year Sydney ceremony, the last time they had it was 60 years ago, and now you are waking up in this particular day right now. This stuff is over now. Let's go on and wind the things up. I'm gonna wind some things up and I'm gonna give you some things on the messenger, Elijah Muhammad. Because see, you didn't believe in him. Behold, Elijah coming. The Jews said, suppose that Elijah enters the chamber of one, it's coming to the original Hebrews, which are the original children of Rock, but that go all the way back to Egypt and Lemoyne. So don't just take it as this one particular group of people. Elijah entered the chamber among the child, the chamber among the child, to seek left vacant for him in the double chair. That means that he, in the book, people would have seen that they say Elijah incarnates to a people when they're at their lowest point in civilization. And he reincarnates over and over and over again. So that Elijah in the Bible was the same one that was here on earth. You see what I'm saying? Now, it says the seat of Elijah. Elijah in the center of a large chamber of the Hebrew tradition is identified with who he who comes with the number eight. That is the bow tie that he wore around him, symbolized infinity and the number eight. Mm -hmm. It appears likewise to indicate that he is from the God top of Tahuti. Elijah was a form of Tahuti, and Tahuti means messenger. Tahuti drives the ship of rock. Elijah was the pilot of the ship of Allah, which 
He told you that there was this ship. And the white boy bears witness to it in his book, Neil Wilbur's The Numenoid, where he said that they came and visited the MIB, who are UFO sides, that came and visited Malcolm X's last year in prison in 1950. You see. So that bears witness that they knew of this mothership that they took out of his briefcase in 1944. And the honorable life behind when he went to jail for opposing the draft. Okay. Eight appears likewise to indicate that he is the god Tot, which is the Hooty, or uh, Sut Anubis. Sut is the announcer of the goddess of the seven stars in one come annually. Tot, who represents the messenger, the voice of the Lobos and the seven gods, the manifest of the Paloma, and the com completer of Haba, he comes, he, he that cometh. The Hava, he that cometh. Elijah cometh as the messenger to announce the prophecy of the Hava. Tot supersedes Set, a soot that, that Baal, a bar in Egypt. Elijah portrays the great appointment of Baal in Egypt. They see he opens the way. When you see the God and to Tahuti as the messenger, or you see the God Anubis, it opens the way. That's the opening of the way. So this is the thing on Elijah that also came also too. It says that the Quran records says that the angel Gabriel came from the constellation of the dog star. And Muhammad was reputed to have been taken to the southern heaven, Saturn, by Gabriel, flying in a white sea spaceship with 600 wings about 597 A.D. The Lord of Venus that helped teach Earth man Mercury together with mankind is indigenous to the Sirius constellation Canis Major, where Isis in the level of, that was that was Isis in the level even king, whatever that means. Isis and Osiris were space beings from the planet Canis Major, which is Sirius. Did Isis, Isis bring wheat or offset bring wheat and corn from Canis Major constellation? And Earth origin of wheat is not, has not been discovered. Mm. Now this is some stuff from other documents on Sirius. It's coming down the tube. Um, it's coming down the tube. Now I've got one other thing that I've got to do because it's talking about you, and that is this. It says in the Holy Quran, it says in the Holy Quran that, that, um, well, I'll, I'll give, well, we'll take the question and answer. We go to this last part. It says that he is the Lord of Sirius. And he is the Lord of the second creation. That's talking about the second 26,000 year period. The first creation went down with Atlantis and the Moria and the Earth separated. The second creation is the one we got going on now. It says the second creation. And he enriches and causes to possess. And he is the Lord of Sirius. This is another translation from another part of the Quran. And he destroyed ancient activists which is also Atlantis. And now we know that the doors, that the, that the flood that Noah was talking about was when Atlantis went down. That's the flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. It said, however, the teachings of Muhammad set down the Quran and later Christian texts, and before is much nearer to our time. It represents an addendum to the prophet of the Jesus of Nazareth. It says it is seriously laden with terrible warnings of the final destruction of the star series. Now, it says it is an addendum or an appendage. This is what they're saying, the reason why people have been fighting. You're supposed to take the Book of the Dead, the Holy Quran, the Bible of the Jesus, and you should put the Bible and put them all together and read them as one book. You take the Holy Quran and the Bible and put them together. The Holy Quran is the second appendage to the Bible. It is the second one to the Bible, and you read them as a book. That's why you've been arguing. And take the book of the dead and put that on there, too, because all of it is one. Okay, you got that? All right. The people of Talmud, Talmud left before the survival, and before them, the people of Noah, who were the most, etc. All right. The italics of other includes that emphasize the esoteric astronomical significance of the text of the theme under the heading Yensin of the Quran says, the sun is given to overtake the moon, thus the night overtakes the day, but each of its own sphere both journey on. It is also a sign that there the, in the latent full arc and 
We drown them like vessels and we embark and we please and we we please we drown them. Now they're talking about this ark. And they're talking about this ark and this Noah's ark was not no ship, no wooden ship. Right. Every animal on the world in two. It was some people that was living in Atlantis and they got the hell up out of Atlantis in a spaceship which was vessels. Okay? And that's how they saved themselves and went to the other parts of the earth. Some of those people. Okay? Some say they started Kemet. I said Kemet was already there because we got the Sphinx to bear witness to that. And it was actually one of the capitals. Though the Quran has great repudiation of the flood theme and many references of destruction of stone-charged winds, yet it refers to the future ark or ark, whether the ark of the Noah the news, they're saying it's arcs, flying arcs, which is spaceships other than some old boat, you know, no wooden boat and stuff, you know, the white man going to some mountain trying to find them in search of Noah's ark and all. No, the destruction, no. Note the association with the Lord of Sirius in the Surah of the Star can only be Sirius itself in pre-dynastic time, in, in, in pre-dynastic Egyptian time, he is him who is named Osiris. Take note, the royal we, Osa, which is Osiris, Osiris, which is Isis, and Heru, which is Horus. Perhaps an entire Osirian race God-like men, brother, God, immensely powerful, influential, yet omnipotent, universal created beings, perhaps monitors and directors of a terrestrial mankind. Osiris said himself, as we choose the courage and choice to size them up, thus within the high levels of prophecy, the Holy Rift remains the hope based upon the astronomical realities. They just told you that this whole thing with this Lord of Sirius is an entire Osirian race. They said an entire Osirian race and a remnant of an entire Osirian race. Osiris means Lord of the perfect black. Mm. Let's rephrase that. Let's take out Osiris or Osa and just say the word Lord of the perfect black. Then you say Lord of the perfect black, an entire remnant of Lord of the perfect black race. That's talking about you. They say a remnant, they talk about that which is left over. They're not talking about that in what's up is up in the sky. A remnant means what is left over. That's you. But right here it says that. The hope of the planet is based upon astronomical realities. They talk about you of being an extraterrestrial government. That's what these people are talking about. And this is the white man talking this stuff. <laughs> That's what time it is. One last point I'm going to do, if I can find the thing. It's talking about uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this woman, the book is called A uh, Conversation with Nostradamus. I forgot the woman's name, it's three books. I think it's in book two or three. I, dang, I don't know why, you know, but I think I could bring all these books this time. <laughs> she said that she's having some things going on in the future. And she said that, they, she said that the world is already destroyed and these people are arranging this trip. And they say they got one little white girl that was saved over and she going there with her husband to Sirius. And she said, and they said, how did these people look? They say they had, they, they had these contacts with extraterrestrials. And it says, on board, who's piloting the ships? Will you tell that they were not from this planet? They look humanoid. They wear similar clothes. Now she talking about the people on Sirius. They're bald and have protruding eyes. Their ears are closer to the head inside inside their head. They have a spiral structure on their ear, similar to a cranial or combined nuclear cell. Their noses and nostrils are flat. 
You know who that is. <laughs> a bit flatter. Their nose being different and, and different, they are different looking. No, let me put it this way. They are different. They, excuse me. Other than the difference, they look very much like humans. Excuse me. I've been going so fast in the spirit because I have to slow myself down and read. These aliens are large people or small people. This is the guy asking, are they large people or small people? They say they are medium in height. Their skin is not white, but a golden brown color. Their head is a, it aren't shiny, but they are bald. They have an unusual cranial shape. You know that unusual cranial shape comes from Africa. They would call it double little cephalic. That big head, that big head scientist, you hope with that big head, and you go to eat yogurt, they got that big head. They say that's unusual cranial shape. They are different looking, but they are not ugly. They project such a loving nature. We find it very irresistible. Can you see their hands? Uh, are they different? And she's saying, but she says that, yes, they are a bit different. Their fingers are thin and trapped um, in a cold shell or whatever. It doesn't look like they have hair follicles and extra things on their body. Well, you know, we don't have the hair thing on our body. That's the beast that got all that hair because he's an ape man because he trapped that ape energy out of this human artificial when we was mutating and grabbing that beast by certain levels of the year in the system, in certain times when we had sex, we brought down energy that was that was uh, tapped into an animal realm. And for that ape, we get, I got that on my human artificial when she gave you tape. There are people from the solar, serious solar system, or the serious star system, but right here they're saying they got a dark brown skin, and this whole thing, and this one, she, she, she gives you some type of thing, but devil they already told you how they look. Well, I saw one, I know he's so serious with a black man. His eyes were sucking through his head. But when I turned around, I knew that he was a brother, but he just didn't look, he looked like one of our cousins. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, we probably are all shoot from it, but he looked like one of our cousins, but he looked like something like, a, like, a, like an Egyptian or whatever, or Ethiopian, in this famous metaphysical bookstore. So I got this, you know, this was, this was, this was not Awas. This was this other person. So I got this to do. I said, I'm gonna get over here and talk to this person. <laughs> the white boy introduced me to this. He said, yeah, ain't it. So I got to the door, so I'm talking to him when he come out. I'm going to jump talk to him. But what happened was the white boy came up and started talking to me. And I was waiting for him to go at the front door. And then I looked, he was going out of the store. And he couldn't, there wasn't no back door, so how the hell did he disappear out of the store? And all of a sudden, right after that, about two weeks later, I met this particular a boy that is standing with us right now, and we got the juice. Now, the thing you got to do, this is what you got to do. Now. Tell you like it is because I love you, but this is the thing that has got to be done. I said, well, I'm not going to say this today. I said, I don't want to offend nobody. I said, but I got to tell them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to get on the ship, you got to tell you what you got to do. Stop. Number one, they say that, and this is what Thunder Dog said, who is that farm of AWAS and the whole nine yards. They say, number one, you take the person that you take, everybody that you love, and send them a boat of light. You see? You send them a boat of light. And you say, this light is to cross for you. To all divine perfection. Something like that. That's close to it. So I cross for you in all divine perfection. You take everybody you love, but you take you gotta make amends with every black man and woman that just got on your rough side and you hate them. God knows we got some of them that got on our rough side. So now, you take them and you send them this bolt of lightning. And you say that, what did I say? What did I say? I say, what did I say? I say, I prosper you in all divine perfection. Do that. That's it. I prosper you in all divine perfection. And you send everybody you know in your family and you know that go to life. You hit him in the head. It's like you hit the brother in the head. Boom, yeah. Go to the head. You send them that go to life. Even every brother that you hate and despise, you got to make amends. Because remember now, we're not in our rightful mind. So anything that we do on this earth plane, even in selling out, we're not our rightful mind. And 
and suffer. Number two, anytime somebody makes you mad, that person is your master. That's your master. Because he controls your emotion. That's that getting off that gear level. That's your master. Now, what you do is, anytime something or anything that you get mad off in anger, that is shutting you down. You say, move on. Or move on by. I believe only in God who is divine protection in all which is manifested. No, excuse me. Move on, I believe only in God who is divine perfection in everywhere manifested. Do that. Okay? No more, they don't want you to pray no more. Now I know that's how I know some of the Muslims are going to hold down y'all, but I'm telling you what they're going to say. If you, now, you, that's contradiction now. Come on, Nation is not a you God of the universe. What the hell are you doing praying? What they're trying to tell you is this. They're trying to tell you this. That you got to start taking responsibility for who you are. And they got to get tired of you coming to them praying to them. They saying, look for nobody outside of yourself. How you get to the creator is through yourself. Not go up, go out and go up. You go in and go up. Because your telephone line is through him. So they say, look nowhere but inside yourself to the higher you, which is already God. So pray to yourself. They say, and how you do that? They say, most people prayers don't even get to God. They don't even get to see them, let alone get to help. They don't even get to see them, let alone get to help. When you pray, you are talking to God. When you meditate, you are receiving answers from God. So no more prayer. You say, be and it is. You're the God, and you can will it into existence. And when you fix your mind that way, you ain't got to worry about no more money or none of this stuff. It's going to get tough, but the crack is going to let all that go. Plus, we're going to let all that go, too. Because when we take, take out this civilization, the stuff that is, is, is comfortable, we're going to have to learn to live without. So you say, be and it is, and I will it into existence. And that's it. And don't worry about it. See, you, you're talking about having faith. You pray in that, and you still worry about it. That means you don't believe in the divine manifestation of God. And you don't believe in yourself. Who is God? Because to know yourself is to know God. Believe in self, and to believe in self is to believe in God. And you don't believe in none of that. If you still worry about it, don't worry about it. Say, I'll be in it and put it out your mind. You got them bills, you say, I can't do nothing about it. I'm going to be broke anyway. <laughs> I can't do nothing about it. My credit already bad. Everybody credit bad. You ain't going to never get on top of the money situation. You're going to always be bills. Don't worry about it. This ain't the end it is. But if you believe in the high source, the cracker can't bother you. Now you're not even with money. Don't worry about it. They already told us. They already granted us. They told us to shoot to the table. They say, when you go off this Indian mountain, don't you worry about it. Don't gonna die. Because the worry about that is to put your thing over to a white guy because he's on that front of that dollar bill. Right. But he's going to be happy. He's going to help you because he's going to take it off the dollar bill because you all know about the middle strip in the dollar bill. Yes. I don't need to pull them out no more 20 to show you. Yeah. They're in the 20s and you can pull them out. Yeah. They can fly over your house and tell you how much money you got. And when they take that money off the market mm -hmm. in about another month or so, mm -hmm. if you got it on you, you're going to jail. Mm. Now they tell you all this counterfeit junk. They didn't counterfeit since days of old. <laughs> but all of a sudden they ain't even in counterfeit. But yet Bill Clinton is talking about a national health care system which ain't nothing but the debit card. And in the debit card you told us you either in the system or out of the system. So you can't talk no more junk if you got the card. They say, okay, we just tap on a button to take you off the computer. Now what you gonna do? So that was total straight. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what time is. But just be what it is and say, don't worry about those things no more. Get off this material level. It don't mean nothing. It don't exist. It don't exist. Uh, it don't exist, which reminds me, I got to show you this one other little thing. But it don't exist. The material level don't exist. Um, but get off that material level. Um, now, it says that in the Syrian magic, the Dogons tell us that the dwellers of the Syrian star system had to overcome that particular form of set. 
Since the Osirian drama is manifested in the solar system, Earth in particular is now forced with the same battle of the Syrian um, cousins that won, that, and won in other time zones. They say that what we were going through was already fought and won in another war in the States a long time ago. So you and so it happens because this is going into a lower dimension, those tra those thoughts travel into space and they get caught into time this particular dimension and they manifest physically. And so all this is is a big hologram. Mm -hmm. It's like a big guy, it's a movie that's being put out. Remember, we already won the war. Mm -hmm. So the war was fought in, 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 in space about 10 million years ago with serious, serious and Orion. And we won that war. It's just reoccurring again now, instant replay. So this is all an illusion. They say when you raise the Kundalini and the and get to your higher self, the illusionary world disappears and the real world begins. <coughs> you have been caught in the thinking, trapped in the thinking that this physical body is the real you. Right. The real you is on the inside. This is only a role that you play. And when you get through with this role in this school, you got to go to another role. If you don't pass this role and go to another level. Check? Check. All right. These are some things you got to do. Now, the thing you got to do is, and I ain't telling you, to wean yourself off of it. Mm. Get off. Me. Get off. Get off. Get off. I'm telling you this. Ain't no, we're going to cut down. The only way you do things is cold turkey. That's it. That's right. You got to get off all meat. All of them. No chicken, no fish. No beef, none of that. No pork, none of that. You gotta get off of it. Not so much a health reason, because you already know health is you, you don't go be eating. With all the hormones that they can grow a chicken in three weeks. They can grow a cow in nine months. A whole cow. <laughs> you gotta get off it. Now I know that's kind of awful. Some of you getting scared and I said, I don't know how to get off the meat. But this dead animal vibration. Now look, I'm, look, I'm trying to show you something. If you're going to be real for your own revelation, your own liberation, don't say what the hell you can't do. You do it. Cold turkey. You already got a built-in mechanism. Right now you get mad at the black boy, you say, mess with that nigga no more. And you don't mess with him no more. And you don't mess with 15 years, you ain't mess with him no more. You already got the call, you just got it on the wrong end. Do the same thing with the chicken, I ain't messing with it no more. He's like, I ain't messing with it no more. You do the same thing, every time you get mad, I ain't messing with it no more. And you don't mess with him no more. You already got it built into you. It's just functioning on the wrong level. See what I'm saying? You already got it. You do the same thing with your meat. I ain't messing with it no more. <laughs> That's what you got to do. You got to get off the meat. So diet is key. You got to get off all the You got to get off all the dairy products because that calcifies the pineal gland. <laughs> cheese, that's just like eating the cow. <laughs> All that got to go. I love some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hardest thing to get off because when you become a vegetarian, cheese becomes your meat. Yep. Yeah. I can eat the bit and I'll have to fly some cheese up in it. <laughs> <laughs> you see? But you got to get off the cheese too. Because guess what? They tell you glue is made from a heart. Uh -huh. Glue is made from milk. That's why they got that cow on that board and on, on, on that glue. They almost glue. It's made from milk. And that's the kind of stuff going in your body. That cheese. You see what I'm saying? You gotta get off all dairy products because they give you that mucus, and the mucus is what kills you. You gotta demucus yourself. All animal vibrations spiritually because you can't rise spiritually with dead animal vibrations in you. That's a dead animal. That's something that died on the earth when you got it in your body. Think about it. You see what I'm saying? You ain't, you just, the blood, you hooked on blood. Try getting off the crack, try getting off beef. It's the blood. That's what tastes good. You see what I'm saying? And let it sit up too long. The blood will rise and be a red cloth of blood. You ever seen this? It's blood. You gotta get off the animal thing, huh? You say it's hard, but the white man tells you right now, I need you to be on that job tomorrow morning. <laughs> I need you to move from dog on New York to Dallas, and I need you in a blue suit. And I want you to change your voice. You do it in a man. But yet when it comes to saying you don't about it, I don't know about those things. When it's saying to do things and get yourself to your God, you can't do it. So ain't no excuse. I used to say, you know, you just could go there. No, uh-uh, cut it out. 
This is what they're saying, cold turkey. They tie a queen around. We could have been off this thing 50 years ago. They waiting on us. That's right. We're the ones that's messed up. They waiting on us. You see. Now you can extend this white man and get a few more years enough years to kill you based on you being lazy. And you don't need the masses of the people. The masses ain't never did nothing but die. The masses ain't never ran nothing. They're a popular culture where it feels good, tastes good, smells good, sounds good, look good. That's the animal level. That's almost an instinct in our animal senses. That ain't nothing spiritual whatsoever. We in the animal box. That's what the masses do. They follow the popular trends and the culture. It's the nucleus that runs the society. The white man got that's us from us in the mission system. He running it on us. Whole world around a small clique. So your liberation is a small clique. It don't have to be the masses. The masses ain't gonna do nothing. The minister of Bible kind of packed 50,000 people up in there. And them people listen to him, get on the high. Well, right back out of the street and that's a damn fool. <laughs> and he only get the nucleus to bear witness of what he's saying. So it's only the nucleus from the beginning. The reason why the black liberation people went crazy in the 60s, start marrying black women and start doing all kinds of crazy stuff, is because they thought they could get the masses. And you weigh yourself thin, that's too much. You don't build from the outside in, you build from the inside out. If you take the nucleus, because the small point is what's operating you, that's the soul that's blacked out. You build from the nucleus, and when you make that radiation shine, then your popular culture, they see it shine and they go into it. So you draw them from the outside in. You know, from the, you draw them from the outside in. You don't go and try to make it so that you're trying to liberate the masses. You weigh yourself in like that. Don't worry about that. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry about them. Even if you believe in the Bible, they come out one man coming back, that's all they give you. The Bible don't say a whole man. They say, well, two or more gathered in my name. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So we talk about the nucleus. So don't worry about the masses. Every time you get up here and worry about what this Christ is doing every day, as far as how much he is doing this and how much black people in racism is taking time off the job you need to do. And believe me, he got enough of that to keep you here worrying about that till the year 2000 and 4000, 2952 billion years. He'll just keep creating. And you stand here worrying about this physical level and all this stuff and when you're supposed to be doing work to take him off the planet. Okay? So number one, diet. Number two, meditation. Don't worry about it, just sit down and close your eyes. Let go and let God. Breathe 10 breaths in this, in this nose, let it out. 10 in this nose, do the 9, do 9 completion. 9 in this nose, 9 in this nose, fill the brain up. Breathe in the nose like this, hold it, let it out. Do that about nine times, and you close your eyes and see what happens. And just stay quiet. Get some meditation music or whatever, but gotta meditate, because they want to start communicating with us. And the woman that she do it, she can get it just like that. I meditate a whole year. I got all the feelings. <laughs> I meditate a whole year. I got all the feelings. One super came over the first time, she stopped want to meditate. She got on the ground, and I had this big old picture of this temple of, of Karnak, and they got this pool in the, on the side of the Temple of Karnak that they built in Washington, D.C., that pool of water in the Washington Monument. When it came from Egypt in the Temple of Karnak, a kid, they got the pool there. On the picture wall. She said, I want to go there. So just close your eyes and start doing <laughs> I close eyes. Fifteen minutes later, she in there crying. What, what's wrong with you? I said, oh, Lord, why do you always give me these fools? <laughs> oh, I always get me crazy. <laughs> she just crying. Come to find out, and I've been meditating the whole year. She sat down for the first time. Come to find out, she done went and left her body, went into the picture, got into the pool, and was swimming around in the pool, and it was a temple to her after that, the hippopotamus goddess. It was her temple, and she came out and told her, you're not ready, you got to go back. When I woke up, 15 minutes, now this 15 minutes, I woke up, she in there crying because she was mad because she wanted to stay in the God sent her back. And I said, I'll be there. I've been meditating a whole year. And she done left me down. She's a teacher. I'm a dog. So now, the women already got it. If the women hook up, they can hit this stuff like it ain't nuts. But they already told us to rejoice because the stuff is here. You just got to stay on the frequency. 
Now this is the other key. This is what's going to hurt. <coughs> that morning when we got back, the, two, the sisters went on the mothership, one of the sisters went on the mothership, and the brother, Bob Bob went on the mothership. They both saw Honorable Lies Muhammad. Then there's other mothership, because one brother, <coughs> Bride's mothership, he got a mothership, and he's sitting on it. One, and his wife went on say, I went on another mothership, and I saw my husband on it. And they said, she, he, he holds the door, and he's the driver of that mothership. Mm -hmm. And stuff, right, okay. Now, they came back down, and then the other brother, the one that they hit the boat of lightning in his head, he said he was concerned. He said the divisions he was seeing, he didn't see no women in it. And he saw the guys going further than the women. And he was concerned. And then he, he and so what happened was the next night, next morning they gave him the number four and five, which is nine completion. And they said one of them to the coded. Went around and nobody decoded it, and then it came to me. And it came to one other sister, and the two of the spiritual sisters, I decoded it, and I talked to them, and they said, you were right. They said the same thing came to them, too, on what happened. And I'm going to tell you what the decoding was for the woman, how she can get on the mothership. And this is the key. This is going to hurt some people. This is what the deal is. Number one, the reason why you are not going further is because, one thing, we can wear European clothes, or we could have African clothes. But when the man is at his most humble state, is when he take off his clothes, he naked to the world and he can't put on that facade no more out here in macho world. Mm -hmm. So that's when you are at your total being, when you in your spiritual abode in your night clothes, and when you naked or whatever. You you helpless. That's why somebody opened the door, you go crazy. Get out of here! <laughs> now, this is what the deal is. When we take all of this, we shared all the European stuff when we African again. Uh -huh. Or we the original people again. This is the reason why the sisters ain't doing it. When the brother take all this stuff, because the brother lives in what is a patriarchal society, he's not obligated based on a patriarchal and a sect of society to do things that the sister got to do just to be in competition because her man sees the white woman as the paradigm and she has to do things to look like the white woman to be accepted by her black man. So therefore she has to go through another configuration to be accepted by her black man because he likes a particular thing about her. So when she gets naked, she's not totally undressed because she's not in a pure African state because her original hair it's got a relaxer in it. <laughs> and it's not the original. This is not nothing to be ashamed about because we all two days in the conscious and we all got the apology. <laughs> now, if your hair come out the scalp that way, that's the original way God gave it to you. But if your hair don't come out the scalp like that, and it looks like the white woman hair, okay. you got to take it out. Okay. For your sake, and you got to take it out to teach your man that he's going to have you natural and he ain't going to have you no other way. and the spiral cord of the breakdown of the universe. And you flatten it out. This is real hair. White people have fur. <laughs> now look at it. Look at the animals and look at their hair. Ain't nobody got no hair like you but one thing, and that's the sheep and the lamb. And the lamb is the lamb is Christ. Hair is lamb's wool. He is the lamb. And you need to understand what they're trying to tell you about the metaphysic part of the lamb in the Bible. The lamb is the melanated hair, which is the double helical structure of the DNA, melanin, and the breakdown of the universe is in a spiral. And you flatten it out with the no-lie relaxer. <laughs> now 
And this is nothing, you know, but I'm just telling you what the deal is, because if you want to get on there, you're saying, I want to be back to the original God so I can save myself. Well, the original God got spiritual antennas to pick up the, the, the waves from space. When you flat it out, the antenna is relaxed. When you relax, you dead. So your spiritual antennas are dead. I know this is hard to bear, but we got to do these things. I've been on a five-day fast, and I had to cut out the meat, and I got to do this kind of thing here. I got to get off the big male ego and all that kind of stuff that I had to do. But we got to do things. We got to transform ourselves from this niggerhood and this animal box. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you know, only 85% of the black woman in this country, no, 98% of the black woman in this country don't wear her real hair. Right. Now we're saying you're a victim of why this thing is going on. And I know it looks classical and it's a fashion, but you got to look at the root of the fashion. You got to look at why if it looks like this, it's bad hair. And if it looks closer to the paradigm of the white woman who is not a standard of beauty, it's good hair. Now, if it come out the scalp like that, you're born like that. And, if it, and it's still not straight. It still has a double helical spiral, even if it's straight like that. But it's just another technique because we, because Africa is not subjected to one prototype of hair. But, I'm a dog if your hair come out that prototype, the hell if you're going to look, you're going to try to do it like the other one, that ain't going that way. So we make that excuse, well, we can wear this hair like this because all the hair in Africa wasn't this way. But, if it, but we ain't talking about that. We be talking about yours. <laughs> Why you got to put the relax in? A temporary permit. Ain't nothing permanent about it. You know, a permanent fool, a temporary hairdo. Now, they ain't talking about the sister. That's talking about all of us because the black man is fixated on features that look like the European. And the woman is in double hell because the beauty myth, why she got to stand in the mall and shop and be, be stuck in this physical realm and all this particular thing on what she does is because she's trying to be accepted by the male because this is a male-dominated society. And the, and the other woman looks at her and put, looks down on her because most women, most women are male chauvinists. That's called the pedagogy of the oppressor. Where they oppress, take on the mind of the oppressor. Since the oppression is sexism, racism, and classism, we are sexist, racist, and classist. You see what I'm saying? So the woman is a sexist too. Oh, all my best friends is men. You hear that before? <laughs> yeah. I, I, most of my best friends is men. You see what I'm saying? This is because you got to the start of you and your own sister based on a sexist, patriarchal attitude. Yeah. We all got to the start of you of each other based on racism. You see what I'm saying? So they go one in the one uh, um, hand in hand. You see what I'm saying? But not only that, now that's for the spiritual reason. You got to look like God or look like your original form and you want to get back to your original state. If your hair is originally like that, then find me. Come and I scalp like that. If it's not, take it out. Now that's the spiritual part. The second part is this. Dermatologists came to spell. White men call him in. They do an autopsy on black women. They don't know what's going on. They don't find it. They don't know because they white. They don't know. They don't know. Some, some, some of them don't know we crazy. They just think that we just way by nature. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know we crazy. Because they, 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 they have been cheated on knowing our history as slaves. So they just think, well, you hear that? I mean, you crazy. You can't get together. But maybe it wasn't meant for you to get together like white people because you're supposed to be on another level. People that graduated all this material, John, you're supposed to be on a spiritual realm. They are decent. This is the highest they can go. So don't try to be like them. You can be better than them. But going back to the story, white people call this black dermatologist and they say, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? We're looking at the cranial and the brains of black women and they got this, this stuff, this, this stuff on their brains. What the hell is it? He looked, he didn't say nothing because he was embarrassed. He knew what it was. He said, I don't know. And he left. Came back to stomach and said he knew what it was. He was just embarrassed and he felt bad about it. It was that dog on relaxer. See, this just don't just stop at the scalp. You know what You got pores in the skin, in the bone, and all that. And it see right through. You see what I'm saying? It's on the brain. So for health reasons, you got to take that lie off the brain. Don't let nobody fool you. Anything to straighten your head out is lie. Or some kind of chemical. You see? How you doing, sister? There's another sister over there. How you doing? All right. Now, that's what time it is on that level. Now, if you put the brain in there, that's cool, because your head relaxed under it. 
So put it in the grave. At least that's Africa who came from synagogue. They show <laughs> invention. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Egyptians used to wear wigs and stuff like that. There's all kind of vanity secrets if you gotta have that. But bring it up. Put it in the grave. At least you don't have to maintain that to do the West Coast. And then I don't see why you don't do it. Just instead of burning up your face in the curtain now. <laughs> <laughs> Put up your face in the curtain now. <laughs> Now, if you know all my legs, I deem the woman as a god of the universe, so I'm not sitting trying to test the system. We're talking about patriarchal structure and why we do things. And this is what we got to do. And these are some things that we have to do. And now you got to study everything you get your hands on. You see what I'm saying? You got to study everything you get your hands on. And to end this thing, what I am saying is that... The time is now. You just wait. You think it ain't that man who's crap. He know now that, that, that if you become vegetarian, now they're going to start putting, they start to grow vegetables with animal hormones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see? They try everything to still keep you from being the God that you are. But you in this war. And you got to be in this war to win. Now there's peace time and there's war time. In war time, you don't do the same thing as in peace time. And in peacetime, you don't do the same things in wartime. It's just that it's wartime now, you're thinking it's peacetime. Yeah. What about being here? What, you, how, how, what kind of grandkids you going to have 60 years from now? Mm -mm, it ain't going down like that. It's right now. I'm telling you this right now. Because we going through it right now. People on the spiritual plane going through it now. Why do you think they're attacking Mr. Farrakhan? Why do you think they're doing this to Khalid Muhammad? Khalid Muhammad been talking joke about the white people. And yeah. after he's toned down. <laughs> this is my version all of a sudden now he too, he too much to bear. He been talking that jump about the white people the last six, seven years. And they never said nothing. You know the white man know. But now they know that because he does have the masses listening to him, that they gotta stop him in his tracks. You see? And so Polo Arsenio stood up to me, I gotta do what I gotta do. The Jews said we gotta do what we gotta do too. And you threw. <laughs> and they got rid of him for the fire contest. You see what I'm saying? That's what they got rid of him for. That's why they got rid of him. Based on that thing. You see. So now this is why they get rid of all your people. Now, I don't know, I don't even want to put my judgment in the line on this being that type of person. Anybody cut off white men's skin and tell you to be a lie Now come on, everybody believe that. <laughs> he told me I got skin disease. But did the skin disease have to cut off your nose and cut off your skin? <laughs> Come on, man, let's get real. <laughs> he did that and stuff because his, his nose and all is indicated the man wanted to be white. And he also had something done to his pineal brand because he didn't want to secrete melanin also to keep it white like that. Mm. So if you know anything, you know about that amory and that artery. You put that stuff on the bleach it and that sun hit you and you keep blacker than what you were before you bleached it. Because that pineal melanin come back on you. You be blacker than what you were. Say, yeah, she bleached herself and now she's going to turn black. You know that stuff. So now he, that stuff he got, so he had to stop his tiny little man to put some creep and done it. And the white man telling him, we're going to make a guinea pig out of you. So they come in and say, you can stop your tiny little man to creep. And he doing, they laughing at him. But they experimenting on him the whole time. So we, he's a bad example. He's a bad example. And I don't give a dog on nobody. So he ain't nothing. He's a rabbi. You come in the house and see me in the little bit in the bed of a little white boy. <laughs> You know I did something. And if I didn't do something, I still need to be locked up. And you know y'all gonna wear who did it. That's just straight up. Because he is the last person for an example for us to get my You know. He loved white people to death. Wanted to be with us. And see, you didn't know what happened. Remember now on the NAACP awards. He gonna come pouncing out there. Now listen, I, I followed him and I know some things. In the 80s, in the early 80s, in the late 80s, when he got popular around um, 83 and 84 with the thriller thing. And in the early 90s, he had two shows he'd make an appearance on. He would make an appearance on the American Music Award and he would make an appearance on the Grammy Awards. He either accepted the award or either he would perform. All the other black shows, he wouldn't come on. He wouldn't come on to get uh, the, the, the NAACP awards. And he wouldn't come on the Soul Train Awards, but yet they would give him awards all the time. They had to because he was the greatest entertainer in the world. But he would accept the awards sitting on his couch. I remember this school. I said, why you don't come on them shows? 
as soon as he get in trouble, the white man starts kicking in the behind. He comes pouncing up on the other end. Right. Oh, Lord, I see the black people start cheering, but they didn't know what happened. But if you notice, if you get the chase, if you can get it. Charles Dutton, who is rock, who is conscious, and when and and um, um and, and Denzel Washington, who is conscious, they said he got after the um, Malcolm X, and he, he called the spirit down his head. I heard I said, who is conscious now? They was not laughing. Charles Dutton was like this. Said, I dare you come back now. <laughs> After they put, they put up your behind, now you gonna come and get off your couch and come. You know, I know I'm innocent. And then Tilda the Washington walked out and said these words. He said, we put you on top in the Motown days, and as you see, he's got to come back to the black community to get support because he's in trouble. Tell you that. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, most of these little things ain't nothing to dwell on in the first place. You see what I'm saying? But I, 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 on Philly or Hall, I do give him credit. Yes. He did stand up after all. Yes. You never know what a person can do. It cost him his career, but hell, he made twenty million dollars last year. What do you see? He showed the comedy. You see, but he did stand up after all. So that even lets you know that there is Uncle Tom that's redeemable. <laughs> Every now and then they come to and they gotta do the right thing. And he did the right thing. He paid the price, but then again, he's a rich man, so who cares? He already got the money. And even if he didn't never have no money, I'm gonna lie when I told him in the six is don't sell out for two dollars, not even a million dollars. Sell your soul, book dancing and boot licking. Licking boots and butts for the white man. So with that and stuff, we're going to end because I know it's been good. I hope I stimulated you with some things. In the shit. And tonight is a serious cycle, so if you go meditate tonight, you might get some juice. 30 minutes to an hour, but put you four glasses of water in your house on one to each point. And then meditate and try to imagine that sun with them wings on it. And you can get some juice tonight before 12 o'clock, before the serious cycle is over. And if that don't hit, you go back Monday and do the same thing because the new moon is the same. It's the third day of that cycle, so meditate the next three days. And if you can, the next two days, do some fasting, at least fast on Monday. Monday. You know, but when you go outside, if you see any little bright things that's down lower than the stars, you can tell where a star is, and you can tell there's a big bright thing sitting up there in the sky. That is not a star, that's a spaceship. And they're here monitored, and they're here for those who want to see. And once you tap into it and start seeing these things, you will see them every night and they'll start following you. And when you start meditating, especially some of you women, you'll get in touch with them and go on. And they'll give you things. You understand what I'm saying? They'll give you things. And they'll give you messages. You know. Now. Huh? What'd you say? No, no, uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. You meditate in the most comfortable thing you got. There is no special way that you got to sit. You see them sitting in the Indian position and all that stuff. You don't have to do that. You, you meditate in the most comfortable way. But chair, laying down, anything you can do to get comfortable <coughs> where you are not noticing some type of discomfort, that's the way you meditate. Right. You know? What's that? All right. You okay. mentioned the hours of the melanin induction and the foods that help to fortify the melanin induction. Well, you know, some of the melanin is between the hours of three and... Six, and then there's some at 12 o'clock. They say from three to six, it, it shoots, shoots melatonin, and then at 12 o'clock, it shoots serotonin in the daytime. Those are some hours. I don't know, you might have, you might have some other hours that don't, that call us far different. Yeah, now, the hours from 11, 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Yeah, 11 and 4, yeah, that's right. And that will kick in the immune system. Yeah. So you have to you be colored on the inside and white on the out. Eat colored food and wear white cotton next to your body. Yeah, that's, that's true too. That is true too. Um, yeah. What's that? Are those hours? 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 Are those that's the time. Well, if, if you, you just get it in, you get into some kind of thing at that time between them out. What's that supposed to be? Bobby, would you 
say again about the, the black woman that being the womb of the universe for the benefit of the women that came in and didn't hear that. We need to hear that. The God that you worship, yes, he is a man in, the, in that sense. But what you didn't know is he had a mother that created him. That is the triple blackness of space that is not nothing, it is something, it is all in all. That's the real all in all. Her reflection and her manifestation is God. Blackness manifests light. You get the light from the blackness. Her manifestation manifests God. You see, now, She's in the triple darkness of the northern hemisphere of Draco and the constellation of Draco. She's so blue black and so triple blackness, but she is something. She's a melanin also, triple blackness of space, that she can't, you can't see her. So she manifests herself by having her first son who cuts her vagina open at the south gate because the Sirius comes from the south in the southern skies and he is born. That first star, the number eight star of seven stars, is the star Sirius is your primordial God that you have been worshiping, who is the first soul that walked in human form as God, but is now the manifestation of the brightest star in the universe, which is the central sun of the universe, which is God and which is heaven. But heaven has a mother. It says, I have traveled all over the world, and I have learned one thing. Earth is vanity, and heaven is vanity. And there's only one thing that matters in the world, and that is the love of a good black woman. Yes, sir. Very good. Good black woman, both down here and up there. And am I, as I am old, and I found out that there is nothing in heaven that is such a big deal. After all of heaven and even after God, she is. Now, I don't care what religion you in, I'm not going to apologize for it. Take it or leave it. That's just the way it is. There's higher things when you go into your religions. Nobody ever said that there was going to be higher levels of your own religion. Whatever it might be, that's going to manifest that you're not going to be able to take. But take it or leave it. Because I don't care what religion you're in. That's man-made. And before that was you. It ain't about how religious you are, it's how spiritual you are. And the spirituality is your nature, and your nature is that of God. But the triple blackness of space and the womb of the universe is the true God of this universe that makes that God. And he's a grain of sand on a lonely beach compared to the great mother. It's just that we so much down here because he's everything. But that's telling you one thing. If that particular God has a mother and he's a grain of sand on the lonely beach, that means it shouldn't be too hard for you to rise within your God because it's not that much of a hard task. It's no, it, that takes it off the scooped up magnificent level that you can obtain. So that's some inspiration for you. What's that social name, bro? The people that Well, at this point, I don't think that, I don't think that if it was left up to all of us to have that much of spiritual development at this point late in history, I don't think none of us would be on this spaceship. Because <laughs> we don't have that much time to do the thing that it would take to get that much. But remember this, as a man and woman think it in his heart, so is he or she. So it's what's, the ultimate thing is where your mind is. We can do all the other stuff. They say you can do all this stuff, and even if you meditate and all that, it might not make you spiritual. It's where your heart is, where your mind is. And how you accept the condition to be righteous. You already God. You born God. You already got the keys. You just got to remember. And then, once you remember that you are God, you got to accept the you got to accept the responsibility of being God. And to be God is to love. Not your enemies, because God kills his enemies. There's a whole papyrus called the, the, the Destruction of Mankind on how Ra, the blue black God, is going to kill the enemies of Ra. 
and the enemies of Osiris, the god of the perfect black. What is the enemy of black? The enemy of black is white. And he sends out his most fierce warrior, the goddess Sekhmet, which is the sphinx in the middle of the earth. And the goddess Sekhmet represents the number 19, and the number 19 represents the number of God, and the number of God represents the number of melody. So they talk about you being the warriors. You see? So to love 